Hello students, we are doing chapter number 10 triangles exercise 10.3 till question number 6 already we have done in the previous video. Now we are starting from the question number 7. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC. These two sides are equal. Angle A is given 5x plus 20 and each of the base angle is 2 fifth of angle A. Find the measure of angle A. So first we will find out these two angle also. It is given it is 2 fifth of angle A. Means 2 by 5 of this angle 5x plus 4. You can cancel out 5 to 5 you will get 2x plus 4 degree. Angle C is also same. 2x plus 4 degree. Now we can use here angle sum property. By angle sum property, angle A plus angle B plus angle C will be equal to 180 degree. A is given 5x plus 4, B is 2x plus 4 and C is 2x plus 4 which is equal to 180 degree. So 5 plus 2 plus 2 will be 9x plus 4 equal to 180. 9 we can shift here. x plus 4 is equal to 180 by 9 is equal to 20 degree. So x value will be 20 minus 4 16 degree. After getting x value, now we have to find out the measure of angle A. You can substitute this x in the value of A. A is equal to 5x plus 20. So 5 into 16 plus 20. 16, 5, 80. 80 plus 20 is equal to 100 degree. Next we have question number 8 first part. In the given figure ABC is an equilateral triangle. Base BC is produced to E such that BC is equal to CE. So first this is an equilateral triangle means all the three angles will be equal. So in this triangle ABC we will take angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. If we have taken this angle as x then this one also will be x and this one also will be x. So x plus x plus x is equal to 180 degree. Mention the reason also angle sum property. Three x is equal to 180 degree. So x value will be 180 divided by 3 is equal to 60 degree. Now we have to find out this angle ACE. ACE because these two are equal. So this and this angle also will be same. We can name it as Y. So first we will find out this angle. In triangle ACE, angle ACE is equal to 180 minus X. Here we are using linear pair angles because x and this angle are on a straight line so their sum will be 180 degree. From 180 degree if you remove this angle we will get the value of this angle. So 180 minus 60 we will get 120 degree. So this angle is here 120 degree now we have to find out the value of y. Because AC is equal to CE, therefore angle CAE is equal to angle CEA and both we have taken as Y. Again we will use angle sum property in this triangle. In triangle ACE by angle sum property, y plus y plus 120 is equal to 180 degree y plus y will become 2y and 120 we can shift another side so 2y is equal to 60 degree so y value will be 60 divided by 2 is equal to 
30 degree. So angle V AC is equal to 120 degree and angle AEC is equal to 30 degree. Next we have co third question B part in the given figure prove that angle BAD BAD this whole angle ratio angle ADB ADB this angle is equal to 3 is to 1. So we will start from here let this angle is X if we take this angle is X then this angle also will be X because these two sides are equal. So, because AC is equal to CD, therefore angle CAD is also equal to X degree. Now, we will find out this angle in this triangle. Angle ACB is equal to X plus X means equal to 2X. This we have done by the exterior angle property. By exterior angle property. According to this property, exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angle. So, this is exterior angle for this triangle and it will be equal to the sum of these two angles. So, this will be 2x. Now, in this triangle because AB and BC are equal, because AB and BC are equal, so we can say angle BAC is equal to angle BCA both angle will be equal to 2x. If it is 2x then this one also will be 2x. Now after getting these angle we will find out the ratio. Therefore angle BAD by angle ADB. BAD is BAD means this whole angle. Here to here it is 2x and here to here x. So it will be 2x plus x and ADB is x. 2x plus x will become 3x by x. So ratio will be 3 by 1 x to x we can cancel out. 3 is to 1. Hence proved. Next we have third question C part. In the given figure AB is parallel to CD. Find the value of x, y, z. These two lines are parallel. This angle is given 42 degree this is given 24 and x y z we have to find out these two are equal sides. So first of all x we can find out directly because these two are parallel and this is transversal. So x and 42 are alternate angle. So x is equal to 42 degree reason is alternate angles. Now in this triangle because AC we can give here some name AC is equal to CE therefore angle CAE is equal to angle CEA these two angles will be equal so if this is Y this is also Y. So this Y is equal to the sum of these two angle by exterior angle property y is the exterior angle for these two angle and it will be equal to the sum of these two angle. So therefore by exterior angle property y is equal to 24 degree plus 42 degree which is equal to 66 degree. Now in this triangle again we can use angle sum property to find out the value of Z. In triangle ACE by angle sum property Y plus Y plus Z is equal to 180 degree. Y is 66 plus 66 plus Z is equal to 180 so 132 degree plus Z is equal to 180 degree. So Z value will be 180 minus 132 equal to 48 degree. So we got here X value is 42 degree, Y value is 66 degree and Z value is 48 degree.
नेक्स्ट नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन इन द गिवन फिगर डी इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ बी सी इट मीन्स बी टी एंड डी सी आर इक्वल डी ई एंड डी एफ आर द पपेंडिकुलर टू ए बी एंड ए सी इट मीन्स दीज टू एंगल्स आर नाइन्टी डिग्री सच दैट डी ई इज इक्वल टू डी एफ दीज टू लाइन्स आर ऑल्सो इक्वल वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट दिस ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज एन आइसोसिलस ट्राइंगल सो फर्स्ट वी विल टेक दीज टू ट्राइंगल एंड वी विल शो दैट दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रेंट If these two triangles are congruent, then B and C angle will be equal. So first, we'll focus on the congruency of these two triangle. In triangle BDE and triangle CDF, first of all, BD is equal to DC. This is given in the question because D is the midpoint. Next thing is given. D to E is equal to D to F. This is also given in the question. Third thing, angle E is equal to angle F. It is also given. Both the angles are ninety degree. So by RHS rule, we are here comparing one right angle hypotenuse and one side by RHS rule. triangle bde is congruent to triangle cdf because these two triangles are congruent so by cp ct rest other angle and side will be equal therefore by cp ct angle b is equal to angle c and if these two sides the angles are equal then the corresponding side means side opposite to b and side opposite to c will be equal so therefore ac is equal to ab or we can say triangle abc is an isosceles triangle Next question number ten. In the adjoining figure ADBE and CF for the altitude of triangle ABC. Altitude means it is touching at ninety degree. So here it is ninety. This is ninety. This is ninety degree. If AD is equal to BE and equal to CF means all these three altitude are equal in length. We have to prove that this is an equilateral triangle. So first we will take triangle ABD. And triangle CBF, we will show that these two triangles are congruent. So, in these two triangle, first of all, we can take angle B is common for both the triangle. Then angle F is equal to angle D. It is both are equal to ninety degree. Then third, we can take AD is equal to CF. it is given in the question so we have taken this angle is common this side and this side is equal and this angle and this angle is equal both are 90 degree so therefore by angle angle side rule triangle abd is congruent to triangle cbf and because these two triangles are congruent so by cp ct we can say ab is equal to bc these two sides are equal now again we will take triangle cbf and triangle we have taken this cbf and another triangle we will take a D C triangle A C D. In these two triangle again we will do the same thing here. Angle C is common for both the triangle. Angle C angle D and E are equal. this we have to take as e this angle cbe angle e and angle d are equal both are equal to 90 degree then 
this b to e is equal to a to d it is given in the question so again by the same rule by angle angle side rule triangle c b e is congruent to triangle a c d so by c p c t we can say b c is equal to a c so from the first relation we got a b is equal to b c from second relation we got b c is equal to a c therefore by 1 and 2 if we combine together we will get a b is equal to b c b c is equal to a c all the three sides are equal so we can say therefore triangle a b c is an equilateral triangle so in this video we are doing till here remaining questions we will continue in the next video thank you for watching this video